time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey, everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Thursday, October 17th. S&P up five, NASDAQ up 60. Russell, the weakest of the bunch today, after being the strongest of the bunch the last two days. Down 10, Dow up 150, gold up a half percent, silver down a half percent, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield bouncing up 2%, sitting at 4.093. Oil up a quarter of a percent, natty gas down 1%. Grains all green, euro a little bit red, pound a little bit green, Bitcoin down one and a half percent, VIX sitting at 19.11. I got my normal VIX going, they are up about 850 currently. I've had uh, had a little bit of slippage on a couple of these, I had a 90 cent slip and a 70 cent slip, the other ones were 10 and 20, so I've had. Four one-sided stops, no double stops. My price action BIX, I've, I would say I, I've traded pretty terrible today with my entries. I entered one at the open, which I shouldn't have done. VIX was contracted even. Um, then I had a couple other entries early that one side got stopped out before taking any profits. Uh, but Unless we have a raging rip higher, I will uh, I'll still be green on my price action VIX today. So we'll see how that shakes out. I've, I've got a two lot left on this one here. It's pretty centered. I've taken one off. Uh, what my one DTE from yesterday was looking really good earlier. If we close above 5850, I'll hit max. So right there. And then uh, closed out all my calendars today, so I don't have any calendars. So that is about it. Chad, how's your day? Been a really good day. Um, one DTE hit 25%, then 40% and out. I was actually on a Zoom call when it hit 40%. Um, I put it on about 10 minutes late once the VIX spiked that open. Um, I wasn't going to put it on because the VIX was down, but then it got up to about break even. I put it on, worked out 20, 40, 60 and out on my AM number one, 20, 40. And then my last two contracts stopped on lunchtime number one. So it's both nice winners. I have hit 20% on my power hour number one and... Let's see. I need about 40 cents for 40%. So everything has been nothing but green today. It's going to be a nice, nice green day because this power hour trade, worst I could do is break even. And let's see. My discretionary Wooga is currently up uh, 7%. So needs it to stay below 50. I've Got a feeling it wants to push back up after that nasty little down move in 15 minutes. So do we have but, confirmation that Yellen is talking at three? I have it on the uh on my calendar it says tentative. Was that oh yeah. No, it, it did just show up at yeah, so here in uh five minutes, six minutes, Yellen will be talking. I don't really like that. Let's see what it's all about. Uh, due to speak at the Council on Foreign Relations. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's labeled as medium impact on the calendar. I don't know if it'll be really? anything or not. 
Huh. Medium impact, huh? Interesting. Just got forty percent on this one. Need about ten cents to go forty percent uh, profit target on my power hour trade. First power hour trade in a while outside of a Wooga. Yeah, that little drop to kind of juice up the premiums gave us a little something to do. Yep, that's exactly why I entered it. Looks like the Israeli, uh, Israeli foreign minister claims that Hamas leader Sinwar is dead. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Apparently, there was some kind of attack earlier. Yeah, I saw that this morning. Also said they will continue in full force until hostages returned. There's 40%. So only two contracts left for TLC trades. Dark Avenger, you're on... Uh... You're on, you're using Tradier, aren't you? Who else is using Tradier? They've been having some serious issues at the open of the market today. It lasted about 20 plus minutes where it was difficult to get in and out of trades in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, so I've been I've been sending I've been recording it, sending looms to them of my working orders in pending status and beating on them with that. So hopefully they get that resolved. I was dealing with that. I did take one day trade, a mighty 90 long in Tesla. That was a little winner. Uh, as far as stocks go, Taiwan Semiconductor up 11%. Oh, they had earnings. Before Netflix the after the bell. Yeah, okay, Netflix after the bell. Expedia is up 5%. ABGO up 3%. NVIDIA up 2 CrowdStrike up 2 Amazon a little bit green on the red side. Lucid. Lucid. That was not earnings, but they're down 18%. Affirm down seven. DJT down five. Have you guys seen the uh options are juiced in DJT around the election, especially? I was looking at some. Trades in there. It's a uh, lot of lot of juice in those options. See, so Baba down a couple percent, Coin down a couple percent, Netflix down a couple percent. Netflix, I think I'll, I'll I think I'll take a long on Netflix. Just hit a new all time high a few days ago. It's pulled back. 
I think it's got more to the upside. At a 49 point expected move. So I'd put us up at about 730. Need a couple red bars in here. What was it? We can establish some sort of range for power hour. Just looks like it wants to get back to highs of day, or at least back up to where the drop started. Pushed right up to the expected move, which I have plotted at around 52. I would not be upset if it came down inside of 5850 because that's my short strike on my Wooga. I will uh I'll go I'll go back to Netflix here towards the end of the day. I'm at about 60%. I'm going to just let this last one cook a little bit. Google's up about 17% now, thanks to this little down move. Yellen must be flapping her gums. Beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Up 30%. Still not convinced it's going to stay down, though. Uh, Dark Avenger, no, I have not had a chance yet. I'll, I'll check that out, though. I will say Tim's style is, is certainly not my style. He's very heavy on optimizing days of the weeks and very granular things it's just not how i trade but i will i'll definitely check it out our our trades back to dead center
We'll get 30%. And just sit there. Just sit there. Don't go anywhere. It's no problem, Moel. Got to keep the faith. Forty cents away from going sixty percent and out on my power hour trade. Give me a five wide here. Give me a nice green day for TLC today. Yeah, I think I'll just let this last one go. I'm 20 wide. I don't know, 15 wide. Yeah, really no need to put on any more risk. I've got more buffer to the downside on my Wooga than I do the upside. What are you on the 50 45s? I'm on the 50s, uh, 50 and 40s. Okay. So, yeah, so 45 would be about dead center. It can come down a little bit for that. I mean, if this, if this thing looks like it's just going to rip, I'll just close it out because to me, this is just gravy for a Wooga day. It's not, you know, not a good day for a Wooga. I mean, 10 year yield has just been climbing. Stocks don't care, stocks keep climbing as well. Gold, new all-time high today. Bitcoin back to sniffing all-time highs. Now it's up to 67. All-time high is 74,000. Is, is Nan Trader on this live stream? Calling Nan Trader, check in, please. SPX did tick a new all-time high this morning before dropping. 58.78. I had a coaching session with Nan Trader today, so he was supposed to be on this live stream. He has never attended a live stream, but he's killing it. Never been on a live stream? Nope. But he, he still like he he's get he's gotten where he's got bots doing his wooga and he's doing really well. Mm. 
I mean, he's just he's he's paper traded TLC now for this will be the end of end of October will be two full months of paper trading. And he's like, I can't even tell you how. He told me he's like, it, it's so invaluable to do it this long. I was like, yeah, I know. He's like it's just really comfortable with his position sizing and which is just huge for your mental state. So he's gonna he's gonna start going live with TLC on November in November. He's gotten into the one DTE and the Wooga now. Still think this wants to push up. I was hoping for a little more contraction before getting out of these VXX tomorrow, but this VRR is right on the edge. I already took off two of the three, but I need some more contraction to, to book any more on that one. A little bouncy. VIX under 19. VIX heading towards lows of days, even though SPX is closer to its lows of day. Well, Moel, my 50-50 prediction of a up move when you asked, I was wrong. It was the other 50% that hit this time. Well, are you are you just starting off with calendars or have you have you traded them in the past? Okay. Fifteen percent. What is that, Chad? Yeah, you know, I just don't trust this. It just looks like it with VIX coming down the lows. <clears throat> like I said, the Wooga was all gravy to me today. It was, it was outside my short strike. It may still come back down, but I'm not too worried about it. So, Moel, what you'll want to do is um there's a I have a I have a trade plan for calendars as well. So there's in the calendar category, there's a trade plan channel. Check that out. It's got all my strategies, times of day, option omega links, all that stuff. And then my trades are all posted in the calendar trades channel. And so you'll want to, you know go through those and then start to kind of build your own trade plan of how you'll, how you want to trade them. Um, I would also check out, um, I should, uh, let's see. Theta junkie posted her trade plan. It must be in the calendar chat. I should, I should find that and post that in the, a trade plan channel as well. She's got a really, a really good uh, calendar trade plan with a really detailed spreadsheet that she uses. She, that would be a good, a good thing to review as well.
Laura, are you on the stream? No, it doesn't look like it. I'll, I'll reach out to her and have her send it to me and I'll post it in that trade plans channel. If I can get a little down move here, I'll get hit 60 and out on my power hour trade. So I'm trying to get filled on with uh, Netflix. I'll let it sit for a while. Yo, 60% and out. Our hour. I'm going to let my last one go here for a little bit. I'm at about 70 or so. Yeah, copy everything except for the to open bracket. Just copy everything through LMT. You should be able to paste it. It's like Yellen didn't have much to say. A little over seven grand for TLC and one DTE. Nice.
Is anyone else on tat seeing a weird? So I've got a uh, a call strike from this morning's tranche, the 5870 call spread. It's showing a bid ask of $4.60, $4.70, which is definitely not correct. The 5870 call is trading for 10 to 15 cents. All right, coming down, just freeze, freeze right there. Yeah, it's beautiful. My small account is the only thing I still have something on. And that's the same Wooga that I closed in my main account. About 37 minutes to go. Forty five butterfly trading for about a dollar twenty five. Maybe a little bit less. Come on down to Yeah, price of Netflix would need to come down just a little bit to uh, to fill that. I'll adjust it here in about 15 minutes or so if it doesn't get filled. Uh oh, chess master's coming in hot. I am doing a bullish broken wing call butterfly. I've not gotten filled on it yet. I posted above. The order.
Beautiful little down move. SPX hanging out at yesterday's high. Now that it's down to 45, I'm going to let this cook a little bit more. PX coming down, VIX coming down. Be right back. Yeah, should have left my main Wooga on, but still have my smaller account Wooga. It's just a two lotter. But this down move has really helped it. It's now back to dead center. SPX approaching lows of day. Is it going to resist going red? Yeah, it's bounced off of uh, this level twice today.
So tomorrow, the only thing really on the board is uh, Waller speaking at 11.10 a.m. Central. So I haven't even looked at next week. Next week, got some Fed speakers Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. PMI on Thursday. Nothing on Friday. So yeah, all systems go for calendars. Forty five butterfly trading for a dollar forty. Let me go ahead and get filled, filled at, at 5.15 on my Netflix. Nice little nine point range in power hour.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this last one. All right, I am out. The X keeps knocking on that door, knocking on that red door. Got stopped on one of my put side, my last big tranche put side. It'll punch through lows of day. At about 20, 19 minutes till the bell. Back up to 45. There you go, as you requested. My Woog is now at 65%. I wish I would have left that other one on now. See, I felt like, well, I'll just take this one off, and it's taking off some risk. Plus, it's really green for the day. Didn't even need to place it. I do have one trade left for the week in this account so i could close it if i wanted to and then tomorrow i'll get another one back because i would have done friday last week tuesday and then we'll see what i do today if i close it or not Forty five butterfly trading for about a buck fifty.
SPX just trying to stay green with everything it's got. NDX is right at yesterday's high. Which looks like it must be yesterday's close as well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit green. Nice that this Wooga's 10 wide. He's still meeting five. Five minutes till MOC. All right, work in the 40s and 45s. SPX up 23% year to date. NDX up 22% year to date. RUT up 13%. Dow up 14.5%.
One minute till MOC. We can creep back up towards 45. That 45 fly should be close to filling. I'd be all for that. One point two billion sell side. Ooh. Had a little, had a little downside reaction. Got out of my wooga at seventy percent after hearing that. Sitting at 41. My 45 fly is closer to filling than my 40. No, maybe not. Down close to 40. Forties are close to filling. SPX pushing through lows of day a little bit. Come on, hit it. Fill me. Fill me on the 40s. And we can bounce. No, didn't get it. Not yet. A little over six minutes. Ah. Uh. 
missed it. Missed filling on the forties. It didn't build on the forty fives. Bot filled on the forty fives as well. Man, would have been nice to fill on those forties for the bounce. All right, let's bounce up to 50. All right, back down to 40. VIX is creeping. Quick little flush through lows of day. One more push, one more little push. You got it. One more little oomph. It's getting close, close to a lock. One more little push. One more little point. At three minutes. Come on, Mahomes, lock us up. So close. Sitting at 42, right at basically break even. One minute to go.
Ooga would have pinned. Stay down. Oh, geez. No bounce. I don't want to bounce here. Can't handle another near pin, Mahomes. Might have to put Mahomes on the bench if we do that again. Five seconds. We'll push down. We'll push into the close. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. 5841.43. So Mahomes will be a little winner. My Bix will be a winner. A little over 2K. Price action Bix, little winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, all. Everybody have a fantastic night. Uh, let's see. Live stream tomorrow. I think it's Chad, I believe. Yep, Chad's streaming in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we will be back for Power Hour Live. Same bat time, same bat channel. Take care. Talk to you soon.